Hey, Cat here. Welcome to another edition of my channel. I'm going to do today a haul. Um, it's a Scholastic Book Fair haul. Um, they had this uh, fair at my local library, and I was there browsing, and I thought, what the heck, I'll go over to the book fair and see what I can find. And I found some real bargains, and I thought, why not? I do like young adult literature as well as, you know, the regular, the adult. I do enjoy the adult more, but these sounded really, really good. And for the price, you can't beat that. So I picked up six different books. So let me show you. Paradox. Look at that. Dune, anyone? <laughs> and this is really, really pretty. And, you know, speaking of that, it's funny because while I was there, um, there was this girl looking through the books. She was with her friends and she picked one of the, I think it was like Heartless or something like that. And she goes, oh, how pretty, this book's so pretty. And it just reminded me of all the, you know, oh, these beautiful covers videos on YouTube. And I enjoy watching those, but I have to say I have a little bit of a pet peeve. I just don't enjoy that music in the background. It's like a nursery, like the babyish, like the little ding, ding, dings. It sounds like a child's in a nursery. And then some of that other music, too, that like every channel uses just really puts me off. And I found myself today only watching videos where they didn't have that background music. No offense. You know, I don't want to offend anybody to each his own. Like I said, I just clicked off the channel. That's my prerogative, you know. Um, but if you like it, of course, the people that like that music or they don't mind it, they'll stay around and watch it. I just, I just realized today in looking at those videos just how much I totally dislike that music and how it annoys me. Okay, that's, that's just me. Um... <clears throat> anyway, this paradox sounds really good. She wakes up, this uh, young lady, she wakes up on a planet. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't remember anything. She's just given this weird looking set of knives and she's told that she has to survive at all costs and she has to observe and get information. And there's something, you know, mysterious going on on her world, which is Earth. And there's a reason why she was sent up there with a few other people. And she has to slowly unravel why she's there while she's surviving and getting information. And I thought it sounded really, really good. And this reminded me of so much of Dune. That's what caught my eye. That's why I looked at it. It's a little different than the worms on Dune. Um, and I like these colors. These are really, really pretty colors. But I didn't buy it because of the colors. And then I got this one, okay? Now this, I paid full price for this one, okay? This one was $5.99. <clears throat> but here's one that was a bargain. It was on sale, $2.50, called Dark Lord. And what this seems to be about, which really amuses me, and I like how it says the early years, <laughs> this Dark Lord from somewhere um, is being chased by something, um, has to hide, so he turns himself into a junior high, middle school student, and has to go through all of that while he's hiding, and he has to align himself with some kids that he thinks are, like, absolutely annoying, and he thinks that people on earth are dorks and are beneath him, but yet, he relies on them, and apparently this talks about all his complaints about, you know, the humans on Earth and how they annoy him. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. And then this one, this does have a sequel. I didn't pick up the sequel. That was full price, but uh, this was on sale. Beneath. It sounded decent. Uh, it was about a boy that uh, ran away, and his younger brother wants to find him. And he gets clues from his brother. So he travels to New York City to find his brother living in this strange community underground. And he wants to help get his brother back. Here's another pretty cover that I really liked. 
um, and I read the back of it and I thought it sounded really good. It's like a historical fiction novel and it, you know, is a Newbery Honor book and look at that, only 149, but look how, you know, thick it is. Um, so this one is about a young girl. Um, it's called The Evolution of Capernia Tate. So it's about Capernia Tate and she's really into like wildlife and she wonders why the yellow crickets, why there are more of them and less of the green crickets and her grouchy, grumpy grandfather, who is like a naturalist, helps her, you know, discover the mysteries of these crickets and other wildlife. And she, you know, gets a relationship with him. They get really, really close. And um, the back of the book says that she has to survive her brothers, you know, during this, uh, let's see, I think it's the 18th. It's in 1899, okay? And all of those things are going on, but also... It's about how females are treated in 1899 and how she comes into her own. So I thought, I will give that a try. Then there's this one, Hold Me Like a Breath. And the back sounded really, really good. It says, Some family secrets are written in blood. Okay. Well, let me just read you the back because this just sounds so amazingly interesting. This was $8.99. I find that these scholastic book fairs, they're pretty expensive and they don't give you much of a bargain. So when you find these little $1.49 things and um, $2.50, it can be a good deal. Like all these books, six books only cost me like under $25. Once Upon a Crime Family. Once Upon a Crime. No, Once Upon a Time, they said she was too fragile. Once upon a time, they told her she was untouchable. Once upon a time, they called her useless. Good thing she never believed them. In, Penel in Penelope Landlow's world, almost anything can be bought or sold, including body parts. A daughter of one of the three families controlling the black market for organ transplants, Penny is crime royalty. But because of a blood disorder that causes her to bruise easily, she's considered too delicate to handle the family business or even to leave their estate. All Penny has ever wanted is for everyone to stop treating her like some fragile fairy tale princess. But when a brutal act thrusts her, heartbroken, alone, and only steps ahead of her family's enemies into the frightening mayhem of New York City, she finds that there are greater threats than a gilded cage and that betrayal hurts worse than bruises. Someone in her family has been hiding a dangerous secret that could upset the balance of the entire illegal organ trade syndicate and risk the lives of everyone she loves. This first book in the stunning Once Upon a Crime family series from acclaimed author Tiffany Schmidt will leave readers breathless. Okay, it does sound good, but I hope this is not one of those things that tries to like justify stealing people's organs while they're alive and you know I'm really not into things glamorizing crime and making you know people who are horrible to others look good so we'll have to see but I'll give it a try and then <clears throat> this is by Jacob Gray Fierles it's only a dollar 99 I thought this cover was gorgeous too but look at all these creepy spiders Ugh. okay so what I did was I read the back of the book because this front cover, it says, cast out by his parents, raised by crows, hunted by darkness. Got me intrigued. So this is a good deal because it was $6.99 and it's now $1.99. It says, a spider this way crawls. Blackstone was a thriving metropolis before the dark summer. A wave of violence and crime that swept through the city eight years ago and left a boy called Ka to fend for himself on the streets, his only companions a small group of crows. Ka has never known why he can understand the crows, but when he rescues a girl named Lydia from a vicious attack, he discovers others like him, ferals who can speak to certain animals and some of them are dangerous. Now the most sinister feral of all, the spinning man, is on the move again. And to save Lydia, her family, and all of Blackstone from being caught in his web, Carl must quickly master abilities he never knew he had and prepare to defeat a darkness he never could have imagined. Okay, so 
These are the books that I picked up at the Library Scholastic Book Fair. This is my first haul that I'm doing on my channel. And um, I'll just have to get back to you on how I feel about these books. Okay, thanks for stopping by.